Welcome to Taste the Word with Fanny Meiberg. Let us get a taste of God's Word. Good morning, it is Friday. This morning I want to speak to you about another man's dream. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 1, Solomon says, A good name is better than fine perfume. I want to make a statement this morning. Another man's dream may be your nightmare. You know it is important to carry your own name. In other words, to be known for your own talents and your vision and your dream. The things that you have accomplished in life. To be able to move out of the shadows of other people and to Allow the sun to shine on your own shoulders. I sometimes find that people try to force other people into a position or maybe possessions or a vision or a dream that is not meant for them. It is like a father who dreamed for his son to become a world-class sports athlete or maybe an uh, above-average student. And these children have to live in another man's dream. And if that man's dream is not the child's passion or their calling or their vision, it becomes a nightmare for them. That is why I say another man's dream may be your nightmare. Not that the children or the person is not good at sports or good at academics. It is just not their thing in life and it become and it is a burden for them. I also find that some people try to figure out other people's lives and make plans and try to find strategies on how to make them successful according to their standard and according to their dream and to dream for them, to have a vision for them, to have a plan for them. But it is important that each person must develop their own name because a good name is better than fine perfume. And it is like they don't allow the individual to find his or her own feet and develop their own vision and dreams. And you know what, the best way to help someone is to support their calling. To help them find their own dream. Because passion comes primarily from your own heart, your own dream, and may be fueled by the support of others. But the passion comes from your own heart. And we as parents and we as leaders and those of us who have followers, we need to be fuelers instead of trying to dream for other people. In the process of finding and testing their own dreams, yes, they may make mistakes and maybe cost you as parents or sponsors, maybe money or resources, but believe in them. Support is more than money. It is input. It is wisdom. It is a hearing ear. It is accommodation of someone else's vision in your heart that is maybe not your passion and I know you meant well but I want to ask you this morning to step back for a moment the money and support you spend on the extension of your dreams and plans invest it rather in the development of the visionary's vision even if it is a matriculant to force your dream is like an arranged marriage. It is not yours. It is not your choice, but for the sake of, you accept it. The two of you don't fit really together, but for the sake of someone else. You are not happy, but for the sake of another man's dream, you live a nightmare. And this marriage is destined for destruction. Not that I say arranged marriages is always destined for destruction, but the principle apply. I know there is good stories. If you can develop and stay in your dream, 
there will be love. There will be passion, plans, joy, purpose. There will be a future, a new vision and multiplication, multiplication, etc. And you as supporter will reap the benefit of it. And I want to encourage our young parents. Help your children to not just follow your dream, but help them develop in different areas of life. Because through that, they learn responsibility. They learn how to work with people and money and resources and to live a disciplined life. And in the process, they become mature. They will have a passion and a dream and a vision. And you as parent will not be worried too much because you as parent gave them the chance in your home to be independent and to have a vision and to follow that vision responsibly. That is what I want to encourage you. Maybe this is your difficulty that you struggle with. And maybe you are in the shadow of someone else. I want to encourage you today. Don't give up your vision, your dream. Follow your heart. At some point in time, God will make a way for you. Oh Lord, I want to thank you for your word this morning. Thank you for your blessings. Uh, Thank you for a dream. Thank you for a vision. Thank you, Lord that you help us to have our own name and our own place in this world to make a success, not only for our own lives, but for those who are following us and look up to us. And I thank you for that. And I ask, Lord, that you will bless our friends and family over this weekend. In Jesus' name, amen.